whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. cases of crime and punishment, law enforcement agencies frequently encounter unusual types of criminals. On June 1st, two of the most daring lawbreakers were working at the small Wells Airport, along with other inmates of the state honor farm. I sure would like to get my hands on one of those things again. Why, you know how to handle one? Well, yeah, since I was 16, my old man got me a special permit to fly his. like to be back with your folks again on the ranch. How would you like a day with Miss America? Got the clown and I'm serious. Look. You and I could be in that plane and out of here before anybody could stop us. You're crazy. Am I? Well, think about it, kid. Who's gonna stop us? The guard. I'll take care of him. The rest is up to you. I sure would like to get my hands on that thing. You're going to. Now, when I get near the guards, you make a beeline for the plane. Yes, that's right, about five minutes ago. The pilot says the plane holds 18 gallons of gas. He had less than half a tank, about seven and a half gallons. Yes, that's right. Okay, Warden, I got that. How many air miles per gallon? What's the cruising speed? Just a minute. He wants to know how many air miles per gallon and what the cruising speed is. About four to five gallons an hour, and it cruises about 100 miles an hour. The pilot reports he uses an average of four to five gallons an hour, and the plane cruises approximately 100 miles per hour. That gives him a radius of about uh, 155 miles. Let me have a rundown on Packer and Belmont, will you? One moment. James T. Packer, age 41, height 5 feet 6, weight 145. Hair starting to gray, slightly bald, brown eyes. Identifying scars or marks, scar on left forearm. Serving life, second degree murder. How about Belmont? William Billy Belmont, age 22, height 5 feet 8, weight 125, black hair, blue eyes. Scars, two center forehead, one left cheek. Serving nine months on grand theft auto charge. First offense. Up until the time of his arrest, Belmont lived on a ranch with his parents about 150 miles west of here. 150. Hold on a second, will you? Let's see. That's right near Tyree, isn't it? That's right. All right, we'll see what we can do. And thanks very much, Warden. Have Wood come in, will you? A couple of convicts escaped from a road gang. They stole themselves an air coupe. It's red and white. They got enough gas for 155 miles. They gotta come down in this area. Why this area? Well, one of the suspects, a kid by the name of Belmont, he might be heading home. Lives with his family on a ranch at Tyree. 
I want a steak out there. Yes, sir. Get me civil air patrol, will you? Hello, this is Matthews. I'd like to talk to an air rescue officer. This is Captain George Bruce speaking. Civil Air Patrol Squadron Commander. Go ahead, Mr. Matthews. Have you got anything on that stolen air coupe, the red and white one? It's license Nora 3883 Henry. Yes, we have. But right, if it lands, notify us immediately, will you? All right, I'll take care of it. Thanks. All units report negative, Mr. Matthews. No sign of the Air Coop or Belmont or Packer. What time was the plane stolen? At 8.45. 8.45, huh? They've got to be down by now. Call Civil Air Patrol. Get me Bruce, will you? We crashed. Ran out of gasoline. No, sir. We have no further report. I'm sorry, Mr. Matthews, but I don't believe we're going to be able to help you. We can't use civil air patrol aid in the apprehension of criminals. Well, at this point, I think you can. You see the way we figure that plane crashed someplace. Otherwise, one of our units would have reported it. It'll take four or five days for a searching party to find them. By then, they could both freeze to death or starve. What do you think? In that case, I believe we can help you. We'll have planes over the search area within an hour. All right, thanks very much, Captain Bruce. Call Highway Patrol helicopter. Have them meet us on Highway 17. It'll be pretty rough picking out the suspects in that country. It's mostly mountains. Yeah, I know. Boy, now we're really in for it. Well, what'd you expect, a medal? No, I just wanted to take it for a little ride. Yeah, and add ten years to your sentence. What? Look, kid, why don't you face the facts? We're convicts. We broke out of jail. Well, why don't we just go back and give ourselves up? Maybe they'll go easy on us. Go easy on an escaped killer who's armed? Armed? Yeah. Armed. Where'd you get that? Found it in the plane while I was dragging you out. All right, kid. We better get moving. It's about 150 miles west of here. Right. This could be a wild goose chase, I don't know, but Belmont lives near Tyree. He might be heading for home. George Bruce, one of many CAP squadron commanders, had the smooth, well-oiled inner wheels of the CAP going. To CAP's 90,000 men, women, and teenage cadets, searching for some luckless overdue plane is a matter of routine. The search location was plotted on a map, and each pilot given a specific area to search. And minutes later, the pilots headed across the airstrip toward their plane. And even as the pilots were taking to their planes, revving up motors, or taxiing out on the airstrip, preparatory to take off, CAP Communications had already established contact with the acting law enforcement agency. Patrol. 
Control Helicopter 2150. This is Black Bear 47, CAP Base Search Headquarters. 2150, bye. Base Search Headquarters reporting 15 planes over search area. Have you any further information regarding possible whereabouts of missing aircraft? Or 2150 to Black Bear 47. Negative. Roger, 2150. This is Black Bear 47, out. All right, we can slow down now. Take it easy. They're going to find the plane sooner or later, especially if they get the CAP out after the... What's the CAP? The Civil Air Patrol. Uh, by that time, we'll be long gone. Yeah, where to? To your house, sonny boy. We're going to pay your folks a little visit. Why mix them up in this? Because their little boy's in trouble and they'd want to help. Well, I'm not going to do it. I think you are. All right, pick up your feet, sonny boy, and lead the way. You know this country. Make it. I know this country. We've got a long way to go, maybe 18 or 20 miles. We gotta make it. We'll make it. We'll freeze to death if we stay out here all night. It's a Civil Air Patrol searcher's plane. I told you they'd come in on it. Shut up. Come on. Black Bear 47 to Highway Patrol Helicopter. Have relay from White Bear 668. That's one of the CAP searchers' planes. 2150 by. Possible sighting of wrecked aircraft, vicinity Marin Canyon. Landing impossible due to rugged terrain. 2150 to White Bear 668. We're returning to area immediately. Have you got enough fuel to circle till we arrive? Roger. Black Bear 47, out. It's a Highway Patrol Helicopter. One little shot, and I can sure put that chopper out of business. Oh, yeah, sure, and bring every cop within a hundred miles of here. They're passing overhead. They must have given up. Uh, poor father plane. They're heading east. There's a Civil Air Patrol search plane. It's pretty tight down there. You think you can get in? I'll sure give it a try. They gotta be around here someplace. I'd say within a five or six mile radius. Let's go. Let me have the mic, would you? 2150 to headquarters. Headquarters. Bye. Found stolen plane. Party demolished. No sign of suspects. We'll continue search. Call CAP and thank them very much for their assistance, will you? Yeah, of course.
What are you fellas doing standing down there? Why don't you come up here and have some grub? There you are, dig in. State honor for him, huh? Is that anything like the boy cubs? Yeah, Pop, it's uh, something like that. Oh. <laughs> I had a bunch of them wild devils come through here not long ago. Had to feed every last one of them. Circling area. We'll continue search. No sight of them so far. 10-4? 10-4. So I told him, I says, I just don't want you around here anymore. I'll just take care of the whole thing all by myself. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, hey, you fellas don't talk very much, do you? What's in that tunnel, Pop? That tunnel? Gold? <laughs> There's nuggets in there the size of your head. Uh, you fellas are too late, though, because I staked it out for myself. How far back does it go? Oh, I'd say about 100 yards. Empties into a kind of a basin on the other side. Need your samples, Pop? Yeah, yeah, then for samples. I ain't had a chance to have mass aid yet, though. But I'll waste your time. Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing? You're throwing my gold away. Now listen, Pop, and get this straight. We're convicts, see? Killers. Uh, that sounds like a chopper to me, the Highway Patrol helicopter. Now, if they spot that tent and come down here, you keep them away from the entrance to this tunnel, because Junior and I will be in there. We'll be right behind you. And whatever happens, you get it first. Yeah, but what about my gold? What gold? That pile of rocks? Just remember what I told you, Pop. Whatever happens, you get it first. down there. Looks like a tent. Let's go see. What do you want front to the headquarters? Headquarters, by. We spotted the campsite. We're going to take a look. So gold. What'd you say? I say it is so gold. Every last one of them pieces. Has there been anybody around here? Anybody around here? Yeah, we're with the highway patrol. A couple of convicts were looking for them. Oh, no, no. There ain't been nobody around here. Least, leastwise, not for a long time. What's in that tunnel? More gold? A lot of old mining equipment. Mind if I take a look? Uh, yeah, I do. You better have a search warrant or something. Not in this case. Hey, don't go in there, mister. There's two of them. One of them's got a gun. Mind if we take a look at your tent? Oh, no, sure not. Come on. I right, never mind the tents. Is there another entrance to that tunnel? Yeah, yeah, on the other side of the mountain. It empties into a kind of a basin. You stay here. I'll try and cut him off. Two of them are in that chopper. One of them's still out there. Come on, let's try the other way. What do 
we do now? Nothing. Just wait. Parker, Belmont. Both ends of the tunnel are covered. All we have to do is wait you out. Are you coming out or not? The only way we're ever coming out is feet first, copper. We better give ourselves up. We haven't got a chance. Belmont! Give me a landslide! He made me do it. Honestly, he did. I didn't want to go. I told him from the beginning. Yeah, I bet he lifted you up bodily and put you on the plane, too, didn't he? All right, pack him. You only wounded your pal. We gotta get him to a hospital. You coming out or not? I told you before, copper. I'm not coming out. Why don't you come in and get him? How's Belmont? He's okay. Just a flesh wound. Well, all we can do is wait him out. What are you trying to do? Shut up. Get over here. Hey, copper. You listening? Go ahead. I got company in here now. The old geezer from the other side. You want to hear him say something? Go ahead, say something to him. Yeah, I mean it, all right. All right, Packer, don't make it any worse. Come on out. I'm coming out, all right. I'm coming out shooting, using the old man for a shield. Either that or you get in that chopper and take off. What about it? My life for the old man's. How's Belmont doing? Well, is it a deal, copper? He's all right, just passed out. But you got yourself a deal. Now what? Can you set me on top of that bottle? I think so. Well, once you drop me, move out right away. It's your lucky day. Go on, get out of here. Uh, you see, punk, it doesn't pay to get too anxious. No, it doesn't, does it? Drop it. Get your hands on top of your head. Next week's Highway Patrol story is a very unusual one. I hope you'll be with us. Until then, remember, it isn't the car that kills, it's the driver. This is Bradley Crawford saying, see you next week.